troll. I need triple help to prank the Thompson brothers. They love dinosaurs. I like a Jurassic type prank. Please recruit me. You better T-Rex believe it. Ninjas, it's time to prank. Here they come, they're on a roll. Well, they'll strike nobody, no. If you have a point to prove, they'll make a plan and see it through. They'll sign you up to join their crew. Party and the ninjas do. Here we go, come on, join the prank patrol. Me, prehistoric caveman. Where is Arian? Me look for Arian. So, you don't believe what has happened. Um, this guy got me. You, Arian. Yeah? You are? Yes. I've heard you want to prank your best mates, is that true? Yeah. It is? Yeah. In that case, you'll need this. And you'll need this. Oi, caveman. Thank you very much. Oh, wicked! Well, we we'll need it for a while, is that okay? All right, sure. Lovely stuff. Are you in? Follow me. Yes. Let's get these dinosaurs back to life. Orion, or Ozzy, as he's known to his mates, is 11 and lives in Leeds. He loves to play the keyboard, sing a bit of karaoke, <laughs> and swim down the stairs. Overnight, he changed from Angel to Joker. Hello, hello, hello. And says that he was born to prank. So we've got a good idea of what you're about now and what you're like. I have to say, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow prankster. Thank good you. work, son. Let's talk about the Thompson brothers. Why are we pranking them? Well, basically, the Thompson brothers are like a nice family, mm. nice friendly, but they've always played a few classical jokes on me, like squirty calculator, squirty pen, obvious. water bombs. Yeah, obvious choices, OK. But I want to get back at them with something less lame. I like it. I like your style. Well, listen, let's find out a bit more about Alex Lloyd and Max. Here they are. The targets of Ozzy's prank are the Thompson brothers. Max. Lloyd. And Alex. And they love to play with their dog, Holly. Oh. But don't be fooled by their puppy love. When they're not playing on their guitar or horsing around, these guys love spending time with animals. Lots of animals. Even prehistoric ones. So let's talk about the dinosaur theme. What's that all about? Well, basically, all three of them have a small fascination for dinosaurs and dragons and eggs. Any idea what you'd like to do for the prank? Maybe it could be something like an egg hatches and it's got all these gooey bits in it. What, with a dinosaur in it? Oh, yeah. I like it, but effectively, though, we've got to convince the, the brothers that dinosaurs still exist, don't we? Yeah. A bit of research needed, I think. You'll like this. Activate Prank Patrol Research Tool. Locate dinosaur eggs. They're at the museum. Ninjas, take us to Manchester Museum, please. Wow, now that's a dinosaur and a half. It's awesome, isn't it? Now, we can't stand around all day talking about dinosaurs, though. We've got an egg to find. So, come on, egg hunt. Let's go. I've got a nose for eggs. I'll sniff one out for you. Look at the size of that prawn. We didn't find a dinosaur egg, but we did find a dinosaur egg spurt. Hello, David. How are you Hello. doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah, so what is your fascination with dinosaur eggs, then? My three friends, the Thompson brothers, I'm trying to prank them into thinking that dinosaurs still exist. Well, here we've got an egg that you buy in the supermarket, so it's nothing really like a dinosaur egg. It's quite small, obviously quite round, but liquid inside. But here we have a nice model of an egg from a dinosaur like a Velociraptor from about 140 million years ago in the Jurassic, so really old. And they're getting bigger as well, that's what we're after. That's right. Nice and scary. Really big range of size. And this big flat egg we have here, this is from a dinosaur called a hadrosaur about 150 million years ago. And you can see on the surface the really cracked shell. So you can actually lift it if you want to see how heavy it is. Whoa, now that's heavy. Is that what you're looking for, though? That's the kind of thing we're after? Yeah, that'd be good. Well, we're here for research at the moment, David, so can we take some photos? Yeah, help yourself. <laughs> Recipe for a prank. Rattlesnake eggs. 
Hey, the next time you're doing a presentation for your classmates, do you want to make it a little more exciting? How's about a bag of rattlesnake eggs? Here's what you need. A paper bag, a paper clip, a washer and a couple of rubber bands. Attach the rubber bands to the washer, like so. Then stretch out the paper clip and twist the ends. Hook the rubber bands to the stretched out paper clip and wind up the washer. Now, hide the device in the bottom of a paper bag and go find yourself a target. When they ask what's in the bag, tell them you've got a whole nest of rattlesnake eggs and ask them if they want to see them. When they look in the paper bag, your wound up washer will go off wildly, rattling the paper bag and your target. <laughs> So here we are, Ozzy. Welcome to the magical world that is Prank Patrol Headquarters. Wow. It's great, isn't it? Follow me. Walk with me this way. I'll talk you through what we've got. Because this is where we're going to make the props for the prank, essentially. We have all these different areas. Over here is the makeup room, but actually the, uh, the ninjas like to train in there sometimes. There they are. Look at them go. It's the routine. It's the focus. Looking strong, ninjas. That's it. Comedy laughs. We like it. Yes. Over here, the wardrobe department. Quite important, of course, if you're doing a prank that involves a lot of costume. As you can see through there, we've got pretty much everything that you need. Even a few costumes that I've used for, uh, for old pranks as well. It's a great little place to hang out. And meet some of our resident dinosaurs, Lee and Steve. Hello, you two. You having fun? Hi. 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 That's Ozzy. Hello, mate. Now, we, we already know about the dinosaur theme. All we need to do now is, uh, is Phil, Lee and Steven on what's going to happen. Well, basically, it's the Thompson trio, and I want to convince them into thinking dinosaurs still exist. And maybe it could be like an archaeologist site, and then they dig it up and find like an egg. So what we need is we need some sort of excavation site. So we need loads of props like shovels, spades, tables with crates on and things like that. All right, then. and some, some large eggs that we need to bury in, in the ground and they can find those hopefully. Um, and a dinosaur obviously that's gonna break out. We've done a bit of research on that. We went to the museum earlier on and we've got some photos. Do you want to show them the photos? Wonderful. Cool. Okay. Great. Gives us some, some clues, excellent. That's Brilliant. Great. Do you know what? This prank is going to be extra special. <laughs> what? That was funny. The blueprint for Ozzy's prank is billion year old dino bones, a nest of fresh dino eggs, one of which will move, a big egg that hatches, and a curious little baby dino that comes poking out. Okay, put your gloves on. What we're going to do, we're going to make dinosaur bone. Oh, yes. Okay, brilliant. So look, this, this is a mold that we made earlier. And what I want you to do, and you'll enjoy this, is um, we're going to make some plaster. You're going to get your hands in there, get mucky, get, get it all mixed up, and then we're going to pour our plaster into this mould. So that's just water in that bucket. I want you just to get scoops of plaster, give it a really good mix, both hands in. Yeah. A really good stir. Can you try to pour into that hole there? We've poured our plaster into the mould. Yep. And this is one that we've got out, which is dry, OK? But I have a question, Steve. Yeah. How do you make it look all old? <laughs> so, that's it? That is it. Well, very unprofessional. So we've got our egg out of the mould, our fibreglass egg. And what I've done, I've sprayed it with this sort of crackle sort of paint finish on it to make it look kind of old. But what I want you to do now is to do the same with this as you did with the bones. You oh, remember? So, so you mean drop it? No, 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 right. no! <laughs> no. So, we've made our dinosaur egg. We're gonna have a dinosaur burst out through the top of the egg, okay? But I think the dinosaur ought to be covered in some gloopy, mucky, sticky stuff. Gunch. So, with a bit of the ninja's hair gel, some liquid soap, and a dash of food colouring, Ozzy quickly knocks up some revolting dinosaur goo. Ooh. So, just paint, paint lots on, yeah? So okay. we, want, we want these to look really mucky and dirty, like they've been obviously in the ground for hundreds and hundreds of years. Just about looking yeah. dinosaurish, isn't it? Steve and Ozzy seem to have everything under control over there. So part of a bit of a tidy up round prank HQ. Just put these in the bin. <laughs> oh, ninjas!
Okay, so we've got the archaeological dig set up pretty much. You've got the bones that you've broken, nice job there. You've got the goo that you've made and the egg and everything. You're happy with all that? Definitely. I've noticed there's one thing missing. The archaeologist. Right. So we need an actor. Have you got any ideas who, who you'd like to play it or what sort of character you'd like? Well, it should be a woman. A woman, okay. Black hair. Yeah. Bit wacky. A bit wacky. A lady with black hair who's a bit wacky. Yeah. I'm sure we can find one of those. Let's see what the audition tapes look like. I'm one of the best actors in the world. Have you seen my hat? Yeah! Rubbish. No. Watch me light on my feet. I'm an actor. OK. No. Hello, I'm from Sweden. Rubbish. Pick me. No. I'd be a very good archaeologist. You know, I have the voice. And this is Schnoopel. Schnoopel comes everywhere with me. And, and he is a very good archaeologist. And aren't you, Schnoopel? Yes, I am. See, no. didn't even see my lips. No way. Why not? You must be having a laugh. Oh, the rain is fabulous. I love no. it. Oh, it's great. Actually. I mean, outdoors, well, it's a great opportunity. You know, to do a bit She's of work. She's the one. <laughs> With our actress on board, it's time for the ninjas to load the van. Ah! Ah! Ozzy, it's the big moment, the moment of truth. We've now got a ring, one of the brothers. Who are we ringing? Lloyd. Lloyd, OK. Yeah. What are we going to tell them? Well, basically, we're going to tell them that I have actually been invited okay. to the archaeologist exhibition. And, fingers crossed, I hope he wants to come. He will, won't he? Yeah, it never comes. All right, then, Ozzy, make that phone call. Right, OK, here it goes. Good luck, Moment mate. of truth. Hi. Hi, Mandy, it's Orion. Oh, no, it's Lloyd. Oh, hey, Lloyd, you OK? Uh, yeah, um... How's school? Uh, it's fine. Why aren't you here? We had to go on a small Shakespeare trip, so... That's why. Anyway, guess what, Lloyd? Do you oh. know? Do you know that um, archaeologist oh. exhibition I was talking about? Mhm. Mm well, um, I've actually been invited to go, and I can invite three friends: you, Max, and Alex. Right? Do you want to come? I'll pass. I'll pass you on to Mum. Yeah, that'll be okay. All right then, Lloyd. I'll see you later. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. You're a genius. How did you do that? That was brilliant. Oh, my. Why weren't you at school, uh, Shakespeare trip? Thinking on your feet. I like that, man. Right. That's the most stressed out phone call I think we've had on Prank Patrol. That was brilliant. Are you set for this? Yeah, just about. Do you want to do the honours? Yeah. Go on, then. Ninjas, take us to the location and step on it. You tell them, son. Coming up on Prank Patrol, find out what happens when the three unsuspecting Thompson brothers turn up to an archaeological dig site for an exploration they'll never forget. What? Now, this, to the untrained eye, looks like an ordinary field, but it's not. If you look down there, you'll see it's actually the site for our archaeological dig. Now, that is what I thought an archaeological dig would look like, so are you happy with that? Yeah, definitely. There's the dig there, there's the tent with the artefacts. Most importantly, tea, coffee and biscuits. Oh, yes, the tea, coffee and biscuits tent is set up. That's very important for a dig, of course. Um, we've got a bit more set dressing to do, though, which means we've got to make it look a bit more like an archaeological dig. So, um, how are your digging skills? My digging skills are pretty good. I'm keen to get my hands dirty. It's funny you should say that. Follow me. Well, when I said we're going to get our hands dirty, I didn't mean me, of course. Ozzy, where are we going? Right, to the left, Barney. To the left. No, no, too much to the left. To the right. Right. Stop, stop. Now go down and down. OK. We've not got all day, you know, Barney. Hurry I'm, up. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. It's actually a bit harder than I thought it was going to be, this. Stop chit-chatting, Barney. Sorry, site manager. Could you dig it a bit deeper so I can fit in the first egg? I'm doing that concentrating tongue out thing. That's perfect. Is that right there? You weren't supposed to drop it where you picked it up, but that's good. Thank you, Barney. Make it hard for the Thompson trio. How's that there? Perfect. It's Thank you, enough, Barney. Isn't it, that? Time to be buried, dinosaur. That's it. Drop on the egg. On the egg. Perfect. How's that looking? One, two, three. 
This is just so we don't get muddy feet. What I reckon we do is get some of these dinosaur teeth. If we stick ah. them just by the side there, it gives it that dinosaur yeah. sort of feel, doesn't it? Mm, what a lovely specimen we've got here. They're open wide. Let's see. Ah, yeah, just as I thought. Brachiosaurus. <laughs> Hello, getting into character already, are we? Of course, we recognise Ronnie as the actress from the audition tape. Hello, Ronnie. Hiya. You look just like I thought an archaeologist would do. Very impressed. What do you reckon, Oz? Great, just as I imagined you. We like it. Now, apart from the weather, of course, um, are there any other challenges that you can see today? I would say convincing the brothers to put on the um, protective clothing. Really, hardly a fashion accessory. No, no, no. no. OK, well, well, good luck with that and good luck with the dig, of course. Get you into position right. and we'll see you in a bit. Thanks see for that, later. Ronnie. Or Bronte, as we're going to call her. Uh, we'll get these sorted out, Oz, OK? Let's get these teeth and bones done. You ready? Yep, let's, let's go. Let's do it. So then, where do you want to bury them? Well, I mean, if we go both sides... <laughs> well, that's all the hard work done, Oz. I think yeah. it's time now for us just to sit back and relax. Perfect. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, ninjas. Ooh, yeah. It's like a hot chocolate. Mm. Do you want to um, do you want to drink yours first? Mm. You, you just try it. <laughs> Is it nice? Mm, nice. You like it? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, ninjas! <laughs> Whoops. Now, no archaeological dig would be complete without the use of high-tech cameras. Am I right? Yes, you are yes. right. Now, you can see here these helmets have got cameras. Now, we're going to tell the Thompson Trio they have to wear these because the picture is turned into data, which tells us how old the artefacts are. This is, is of course, complete rubbish. It's uh, actually just a line to get them to film each other. Genius. Now, they're going to be here in about five minutes. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling nervous, excited, everything, really. Excited and nervous. It's a great mixture. Before we do anything and we get ourselves into this prank, let's see what your friends and family Think. Have a look at this. Arian. This dinosaur prank is going to be a massive challenge on pulling off on three brothers, but I'm sure you can do it. You and Barney have worked really hard. It's a big prank to pull off, but I know you can do it. Good luck, my son. Good luck. OK, I've just heard the boys are about five minutes away. We've got to get a move on. Ninjas, hide the van. The blueprint for Ozzy's prank is billion-year-old dino bones, a nest of fresh dino eggs, one of which will move, a big egg that hatches, and a curious little baby dino that comes poking out. Oh, hang on, it started. The boys have just arrived. Here we go. Nice to meet you all. My name's Bronte. Right, well, this is where we're going to be digging, boys, all right? Now, we're going to be going in to the archaeological dig, but we can't go in it yet. Cos what we need to do is put on some protective clothing. Yeah, very All important. Right. Protective clothing. And, of course, we're trying to make the boys look as silly as possible. Go on, on Orion and Alex. Here we go. Now, also what we need to do is we need to put on some special helmets. Not also do they protect you, they also record all the information from the dig. OK? Right, Which technically isn't true, suit, but uh, it does record the look on their faces. As well. Now, well, obviously, want to, I want to try and explain to you that if you find anything, you must let me know, OK? And you've got to be ever so careful. 
Because we don't want to damage anything, do we? Because if we find anything, obviously it's going to be quite old, isn't it? And we don't want to break it, damage it. Is everybody all right with that? You got any yeah. questions before we go into the dig? What types of things are we trying to find? Well, well, anything as old as possible, really. I mean, other stuff that I've found before, you know, bits of pottery, I've found bones before, so hopefully we'll find those kinds of things, yeah? Come on then, let's go into the dig and let's get started, okay? Off we go. Right, I'll get in first. Now watch yourselves because it's very muddy and it's quite slippy. Here we go, jump. Not too high because we don't want you tripping up and falling over. Here we go. Last but not least, that's our max. Right here, whoops a daisy. Ooh, it's hard work getting in and out of there, isn't it? Right, okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go through what we do with the tools. Tools of the trade, trowel. Okay, now, when we dig, okay, diggy dig dig, nice little twist, and hopefully we won't damage any of the artefacts. All right, well that's if we find any, <laughs> you never know. So I've done this side here, I want you to turn round and do that side. Okay, okay, right, I've just got to go make a call, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so Bronte leaves the boys to it. Now, at the moment, they're in the wrong area because, of course, we put the egg the other side. It's now been 22 minutes. Nothing yet. We're never going to find anything. Spirits seem to be quite high, though. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Nothing. <laughs> Apart from 47 minutes. Yeah, I've actually found. Yeah, I've actually found something. Oh, oh, they found something. Bronte. Bronte. We found something at last. <laughs> oh, you found? Let's have a look. I found a. Is it really a tooth? Yeah. Is it a tooth? Might be a tooth. Don't that. Do you think sharks actually swim on the ground? It's fantastic. I'm just going to turn this back to the tent. Noise, Max. Come here. Now they're digging round about where the egg was put. Look, they've got it. They've got it. It's an egg. It's an egg. It's an egg. Found an egg. That was some big found? chicken that laid that. Let's have a look. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Be very careful. Oh. Oh, don't use a trowel. Don't use a trowel. You've got to be very gentle. Use your hands. I think she's got a helmet cam for this one. What are the boys oh, thinking? So <laughs> Shocked. <laughs> Keep digging, boys. Keep digging. Oh my Lord. This is very exciting. I don't realise what we oh. might have found, do you? That must have been a mm, big chicken to lay <laughs> A chicken can't lay such a Would be a very big chicken, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, my Lord. What have we found? There's one more in there, yeah? And I think they've just found it. Bronte! Another one, another one, another oh. one. Oh. The chickens are twins! <laughs> it's not a chicken. Have you found something else? Oh. I tell you what, boys, you're very lucky. I've never been this lucky. Oh. 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 You've got no idea. I can't believe this. Look at the faces. You've got no idea what we've found here. I need to phone the office. I've got to phone the office. Just don't follow me. Right. OK, boys, come over here. OK, so the egg's in position. What I want you to do, I want you to stand and protect the egg. Because this is the most exciting thing that has ever, ever 
happened to me. So look at it, watch it, protect it, but don't touch it. Okay? No, I'll don't touch shortly. it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. She'll get really angry. Don't, don't encourage him. Don't touch it. Touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's moving. That's what you call pranked to perfection. That's my friend Fred. You guys have just been pranked by the prank patrol. Go on, RZ. I can't believe it! Probably the best part of the prank was when we all crowded round just behind me and the egg hatched. And I, I got the most terrified, even though I was expecting it. When the dinosaur popped out of the egg, I was really shocked and I jumped backwards. I was like, what? Whoa! It looked real. And then I had a closer look at it and it was plastic and I thought, no! I really enjoyed playing um, my character Bronte. Uh, she was um, a great fun to play, um, completely wacky, mumbling to herself, just going off on her own little world. She was fantastic. Um, I certainly got a convince. She was like, oh wow, we found a dinosaur egg. There are three things that make a good prankster, and Ozzy had all three of them. Number one, the ability to pull off a good prank. He did that, absolutely. Number two, the ability to act as well. It's very important that he's convincing, and he was. And number three, the ability to consume as much tea and biscuits as possible. He did all three, absolutely brilliant. What a top guy. I will get Orin back for definite. So watch this space. All right, then, what about this one? What do you call a dinosaur with one eye? Do you think he saw us? Because <laughs> he's got one... No? All right, then. Um, what do you call the dinosaur that Rex everything in again. his path? Yeah, I'll meet you. Tyrannosaurus now. Rex. Right. Let's go, you guys. <laughs> well, okay. What do you call the dinosaur with three eyes? Seymour. Oh, come on, that was funny. <laughs> Next time on Prank Patrol, our prankster Ella Brown creates an out of this world prank for her best friend. Prepare for launch in ten, nine, eight, seven. Have you ever wondered where your stuff comes from? Your games consoles, MP3 players, or even your trendy trainers? Well, CBBC are offering you the chance to find out. Show Me What You're Made Of is returning with a brand new series coming all the way from South America. If you fancy applying to be on the series, then head to the Be On A Show page on the CBBC website, select Show Me What You're Made Of, and get applying. Good luck, people. Destiny to protect Dolphin. Money. Fridays at 6, new to the CBBC channel.